I'm pleased to be joined now by former APA president, Dr. Alan Schatzberg, and now you're an APA scientific lecturer. So how is the APA annual meeting going so far? Well, it's going very, very well. I think there are lots of very interesting sessions, and we've been involved with a few of these sessions. Did one the other day doing a kind of an interactive session around the development of new antidepressants. And although uh, for a while we had fewer antidepressants, we seem to have some very interesting kinds of strategies that are emerging. Some, in fact, in, uh, affect systems like, uh, like glutamate, which we have not had effective antidepressants I'm working on that system. We have uh, some that may, in fact, uh, affect uh, certain neurocircuitry. Uh, circuitry. We have some that uh, modulate. Uh, opioid uh, system. So there are a number of very interesting strategies that are, are, are being pursued right now mm -hmm. for the treatment of depression. And how does that change the way that people look at, at antidepressants? Well, traditionally, most of the antidepressants that we have, uh, that we use today, work on one of two uh, major neurotransmitter systems. One is norepinephrine, the other is serotonin. Both of these are found throughout the body as well as the brain. Mm -hmm. They regulate uh, different uh, dimensions such as energy or mood or uh, interest or ability to, uh, to think. There's another neurotransmitter related to norepinephrine, uh, dopamine that also is involved with energy and, and cognition. And so all of the agents that we have really work on those three systems, norepinephrine, serotonin, and for augmentation, largely dopamine. So now we're looking at agents that could in fact modulate other systems that might have an effect on, on mood, one of which is glutamate and there are glutamatergic drugs. Ketamine is one example. It's a glutam uh, NMDA antagonist that some people are using clinically, it has some issues with it. There are some uh, other glutamate drugs that are in, uh, in clinical trials that are very, very uh, a promising. It's certainly important work that you're doing. All the best here at APA, and thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you.